like the Tamal. She's so mad in love of Godhead, she embraces the Tamal tree thinking, oh, I have Krishna, because she's in transcendental madness. Ravikara, sun rays. So now we learned another word for the sun, Ravi. Gaura, golden color. We all know that one because we worship Gora Chandra. We worship Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Gora Narayan, as Prabhupada writes in the fourth canto. He's Narayan, who's normally what color? Bluish, blackish. But there is a golden Narayan known as Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu. We say Gora Hari, do we not? Everybody say. Gora Hari. So Gora Narayan, Gora Hari, not a stretch. Varam Varam. Glittering dress. So Krishna is always nicely dressed. Either as a cowherder boy or as a prince in Dwaraka. Glittering dress. Dadhane. One who wears vapu body, alakakula avrita, covered with paintings of sandalwood pulp. Prabhupada explains once that in these days they didn't have air conditioners. So, how did people, it was India, it was hot. So, how did they keep cool? They would put sandalwood, and that sandalwood would cool them. And if you notice, there are so many pictures of Prabhupada. He has the sandalwood all over his forehead. Keeps you cool. Although, here in America, if you went around like that, they might call the police on you. Who is this? It looks like a ghost. Here in America, you've got to be careful. Okay, next. Anana abjam. Face like a lotus. Vijaya sake. Unto Krishna, the friend of Arjuna. So just see, Krishna is also famous as the friend of Arjuna because. Arjuna himself was famous. So, Krishna is sometimes referred to as the friend of Arjuna. Very interesting. Rati Astu. May attraction be reposed upon him. So that is our prayer. That's what we're trying to do. By chanting Hare Krishna, by worshipping the deity, by studying Bhagavatam, what, do we, what is our goal? We want our attraction to repose in Him, as opposed to the material energy. That's detachment. Detachment means, no, 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 I, I don't want to be attracted anymore to this material, false, temporary enjoyment. I want, what did it say? The truth previous verse you want the truth so I want to, my attraction to be reposed upon him an ordinary conditioned soul some beautiful woman or some very handsome man walks by immediately the mind is attracted but we want to rise above that attraction and not be so interested no I want my attraction on Krishna. May my anavadya without desire for fruitive results. So that is pure bhakti. Anyabilashita shunyam jnana karma jnavritam anukulyena krishna anushilanam bhaktir uttama not just bhakti, bhakti or uttama, topmost means I'm doing this service to you, Krishna, 
I don't want, I'm not doing business with you. I'm not doing that. When, before coming to Krishna consciousness, when I was a young boy and I was worshiping Jesus, so I would make prayers with Jesus. Jesus, if you do this for me, I'll do this. And it worked. I tell you, it worked. But that's not what we're talking about. That's a business deal. No. Like you mothers, you didn't make a business deal with your children. I'll take care of you if you do this. this. No. You took care of your children no matter what. Prabhupada said, that's the closest example we have to this love of Krishna. The love of the mother for the child. Because they'll, anything they'll do for their children. Please repeat. Sri Krishna is the intimate friend of Arjuna. Krishna has appeared on this earth in this transcendental body. Ah, so that's important. He doesn't come in his material body. He doesn't have a material body. And it's not that Krishna was some ethereal ghost. No, everybody saw Krishna. We're going to come across at the end. Anyone who saw Krishna on the chariot achieved liberation. So they saw Krishna. The demons who attacked, they were seeing Krishna. They saw. They were given some limited perception. Okay, they, they weren't really seeing Krishna because to really see Krishna, what must you have? Pure heart. Then you can see. Otherwise, Bhagavad Gita says Krishna is covered by Yoga Maya. So Prabhupada explains that Yoga Maya <coughs> will partially reveal Krishna to the extent of your devotion. Famous story, you know. Krishna was hiding from the gopis. He was hiding in the bushes. The gopis come. He manifested his Narayan form. The gopis, oh, Narayan. Om Namo Narayan. Where's Krishna? Then Radharani came. And Krishna couldn't hold up the two extra arms. It's not Narayan. It's Krishna. Because of Radharani's immense love, he couldn't pretend in front of the other gopis, yes, but not Radharani. That's why she's Radha. Everybody say, Radha. yes. So he appears when Krishna comes, he appears in his strength. That's stated right there in chapter 40, chapter 4, Bhagavad Gita, a Jopi son of Yayatma. That verse there explains, I come. In my transcendental form. We don't come in our transcendental form. This is not your transcendental form. This, the form you see in the mirror. Mm -mm, that's not you. The real you we have yet to see. But it will be revealed. But Krishna when he comes. He come, he's not changed his body. Please repeat. Which resembles the bluish color of the tamala tree. Krishna's body attracts everyone in the three planetary systems upper, middle, and lower. So that's Krishna, all attractive. May Krishna's glittering yellow dress and his lotus face covered with paintings of sandalwood pulp be the object of my attraction. And may I not desire fruitive results. So we can see here, Bhishma is pure in his prayer. Nadanang na janang na sundaring kavitam ba jagadisha kame. He's pure. He doesn't want any. Okay. Please repeat. Yudi Turagarad Rajo Vidhumra Vishvak 
Kachalolita Shamavari Alankritasye Mama Nishita Sharayar Vibidyamana Kvatatvachi Vilasat Kavaches to Krishna Atma Yudhi on the battlefield, Turaga, horses, Raja, dust, Vidhumra, turned an ashen color, Vishvak, waving, Kacha, hair, Lulita, scattered, Sramavari, perspiration, Alankrita, decorated with Asye, unto the face, Mama, my, Nishita, sharp, Sharai, by the arrows, Vibhidyamana, pierced by Tvachi, in the skin, Vilasat, Enjoying pleasure, Kavache, protecting armor, Astu, let there be, Krishna, unto Sri Krishna, Atma, mind. So we learned, or we should have learned, that there are different meanings of the word Atma. In one place, Lord Chaitanya says seven. Body can also be Atma. The mind, the soul, endeavor. So there are different ways that Atma can be translated depending on the context and usage. Here, Krishna, Krishna, Astu Krishna Atma. I want, let my mind unto Sri Krishna. Okay, <coughs> please repeat. On the battlefield where Sri Krishna attended Arjuna out of friendship. Again, there's no business here. Krishna out of his friendship for Arjuna. You know the incident. Duryodhan came and just before, I mean just after Duryodhan came, Arjuna came, Krishna was taking a nap, Duryodhan was at Krishna's head waiting for him to wake up, thinking, oh, he'll see me. Because the thing was, it was time to choose sides. So Duryodhan, he was very clever. So he was thinking, hmm, I'm going to go get Krishna's Ashirvad. And Arjuna, of course, at the feet, because he is devotee. And of course, Krishna saw Arjuna. Why? Because he's at the feet. He didn't see Duryodhan at his head. Duryodhana said, hey, I was here first. But Krishna said, yes, but I saw Arjuna first. So as it turned out, Krishna, Arjuna chose Krishna. And Duryodhan got Krishna's army. And Duryodhan was thinking, what an idiot. This stupid Arjuna. I got Krishna. And that army was called the Narayanas. There were millions of warriors. So Duryodhan is calculating materially. <laughs> and on the day of the battlefield of Kudikshetra, the Kauravas really outnumbered the Pandavas by a huge margin. But didn't matter because as Arjuna chose Krishna, that was the deciding factor. Moral of the story, choose Krishna. Not some material calculation. Choose Krishna by chanting... I'm happy to see Om is up front in the class. 
along with Sri Balam. Nice to see you. And Mukund, I have a CD for your brother. Did he tell you? I'll explain to you. I'll explain later. <coughs> okay. The flowing hair of Lord Krishna turned ashen. Repeat. The flowing hair of Lord Krishna turned ashen. Due to the dust raised by the hooks of the horses. Yes, in a battle, things get messy. There's dirt flying, limbs flying, heads flying, blood being spattered. It's a gruesome scene. And because of his labor, beads of sweat wetted his face. Of course, this is all Krishna putting on a show. All these decorations intensified by the wounds dealt by my sharp arrows were enjoyed by him. So, yes, the arrows pierced Krishna's body and sometimes Krishna would show blood, but Krishna doesn't have blood. He doesn't have veins. But for the, for the drama, Krishna showed oh yes i'm sweating i'm bleeding but as explained in the purport Prabhupada said that when bishma was shooting his arrows it was actually pushpanjali why because bishma is krishna's devotee and krishna accepts whatever his devotee does as great oh. 